Okay, so uh, we'll jump into it. Um, where did we leave? We left off right before the vets were coming in, as far as the no death yeah. or standard rock oh, situation. That so, was amazing, amazing. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm trying to understand is, because you, you said in the last interview, uh, they had to December 1st or January 1st. Um, for the contract. December 5th. December 5th, well, right. Con- the, yeah, December 5th, they were, um, the people at Standing Rock were told that they had to empty themselves, they had to remove themselves from the Army Corps of Engineer land, which is still treaty land, even mm-hmm. though the federal government has made, um, has taken it over, mm-hmm. basically. Um, they've never paid the tribe for it. The tribe refused money. You know, the, you're talking that these are the poorest uh, tribes in the nation, mm-hmm. and they turned down millions and millions of dollars. They turned five million down for the Dakota Access Pipeline. Really? They turned down, yeah, they turned down multi millions of dollars. I think it's way over a hundred million now um, for mm-hmm. the Black Hills, which is guaranteed to them in treaty. And when you look at their reservations and you see the 79% unemployment, mm-hmm. you see the devastation, devastating poverty they live in, you mm-hmm. know, you're talking third world conditions right here in the heartland of America. Yeah. But these people turn down money because money is not our God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's something we definitely, especially in the black and brown community, we can, I feel like we need to definitely learn from because... You can't replace land. You can't replace, no. like, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's a, that's a very valuable um, moral that's lost, I think, morality. As you exactly. Um, so exactly. what is set for next year as far as January with okay. the... Uh, I'm going to... Hang oh, on a second. I've got a... <laughs> there's, a there's an alarm thing in my mm-hmm. house, and I'm probably going to fade out here, but I'll turn that light on. There's an alarm thing, and it's distracting me. It was right next to my head, and it just needs to be, I don't know, I need to call the alarm company and go, hey, shut this off. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's go ahead. Again, where were we? So the vets came, and oh yeah. after a few days, the um, they weren't, supposing they were saying they weren't going to drill until the renewal of the contract or so the Dakota access pipeline owned by energy transfer partners Mm -hmm. had not secured all permits that they needed to build this pipeline, Mm -hmm. which is astonishing to me for the investors. It seems like the investors should have demanded to see that they had each and every permit before they um, invested in the pipeline. Right. That makes sense to anyone with any kind of, yeah, any kind Mm -hmm. of business sense would think that. So, what happened was they did not have an easement from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, this is my dog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my dog's to- totally jacking the interview. Um, <laughs> so anyways, the Army, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers um, denied them the easement. So there they are at the brink of going 90 feet down underneath the um, Lake Oahe, mm-hmm. and um, the Army Corps of Engineers says no. So... That leaves it to uh, January, I believe the 31st is the court hearing wherein uh, Dakota Access Pipeline owned by Energy Transfer Partners has to prove why this easement is legal. And their argument was, well, we're losing uh, $20 million a month. And so the judge's reply, I don't know if you saw that, Mm -hmm. judge's reply was, that's not my problem. Right. And, you know, come back on the, on, in January and we'll go from there. So I might have, it might be the 21st. Uh, I'd have to double check. So what could happen then? Could the decision on January completely halt operations or? um, It could hold up operations. There's a couple, there's several things at play here. One, um, the contracts that that Energy Transfer Partners has right now uh, to transport oil, they all come due and they're due for renegotiation if they're not already processed, processing um, by January 1st. So they stand to lose multi millions of dollars um, because the price of oil, as we all know, fluctuates and could go much higher. Uh, could cost them a lot more money to ship, or could go lower. They would raise their costs to um, 
you know, to do what they want to do, which is to make money and send this oil uh, to Illinois to be uh, processed and then shipped to China. This is oh, that's American the end war. game. And China. is to ship it to China. So the Dakota Access Pipeline using eminent domain, which we know is supposed to be for the public good, right? Mm -hmm. there's, there's nothing public good about this. It has a long-term um, job availability of 40 jobs. So right now, while it's building, uh, sure, there's hundreds of guys that work in the pipeline. Mm -hmm. But once it's built, you're talking 40 permanent jobs. That is not any in any way, shape, or form a basis for eminent domain. It's really, it's a mockery of eminent domain. And the farmers in Iowa have their own case fighting against um, the Dakota Access Pipeline because they're losing farmland because of it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so <I know. laughs> it's, it just seems so confusing somewhat. Like there's no clear, they don't have, like they already started there. They set up their, but they don't have all the permits. Yeah. So it seems yeah. like an open and shut case to me. But do you think, is it, can it be confirmed that Trump had money into this company? That he really removed his money? Yeah. It, well, it can that? be confirmed that he did, does have money. And okay. I saw several articles this week that said that he had removed his, he's divested himself from. Um, the Dakota Access Pipeline, uh -huh. but I haven't seen any proof of it. And and everything I've seen of Trump is he'll say what people want to hear when people want to hear it. Yeah. Okay. And if he gets elected, I mean, already he, when he gets in office, do you feel well, that he will sign off on it or? There's okay. There's a hey, there's a lot of question as, as to will he get elected mm -hmm. because the um, electoral college, several people who are, you know, elected are already checking into what if they don't vote for him based upon the involvement with the Russians. Um, and as we already know, 17 agencies have said Russia interfered with our election. Mm -hmm. So uh, two things could happen. Well, several things could happen. But one, we should have another election. Mm -hmm. That's in my opinion. Two, Trump should be, um, he should be removed from being able to run. He's already proven himself to be treasonous to our country. Conflict of interest. You, yeah, I don't know if you saw, but mm -hmm. he actually challenged Russia to um, if, to find the emails that were published um, from Hillary Clinton when she wasn't using a private when she was using a private server. Mm -hmm. So when you and when you call out another country, the WikiLeaks to, stuff you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting is that another report that I read from the CIA is and corroborated by the FBI mm -hmm. was that. Um, that Russia, though they released a lot of um, emails um, from Hillary Clinton, they didn't release anything from the Republican National Committee. And right. they also hacked them. So, you know, their interests with uh, the Trump um, corporations, it's already been proven that the person he's recommending for Secretary of State, uh, the former Exxon uh, chairman, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, has, has ties to Russia. Oil. Where, yeah, back to the oil. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. does. It just spins around, and, and mm -hmm. we're all spinning down the toilet with it. Yeah. If we don't put a stop to this, if we don't protect our water, mm -hmm. we don't protect our land. Mm -hmm. We had another huge um, a pipeline leak in North Dakota. This That's week. what I was going to ask you. Are those pictures real of the pipe yeah. bursting? In? Okay, yeah, That's not photoshopped or nothing. No, no. Okay. It's, it's a and pollen. How far is that from Standing Rock? You know, I don't know. I'd have to look at a map. Okay. I think okay. they did say the article that I read about it today said that it was in a remote area. And mm -hmm. if you've ever been to North Dakota, that could be almost That's the whole state, right? It, yeah, it's okay. it's not highly populated. Okay. I live there. I can okay. vouch for that. Okay. Okay. So wh how do you see this playing out in a few? It, I mean, it's really only about three weeks, well, about another month. You said the 21st. Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. So if, if Trump... Um, is inaugurated as mm -hmm. president. Mm -hmm. He has already said he's going to approve the Keystone XL pipeline. He'll he approve will, it. He's already said he's he's going to approve it. And look how hard we all fought against that. Uh, he says he's also for the Dakota Access Pipeline. So, and another thing that you may not. So why would he say he took his money out? Well, this is what he said before he took the money out, or supposedly took the money okay. out. Okay. I cannot confirm. 
Okay. Can neither confirm nor deny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah. So uh, my train of thought just derailed. What did you just ask okay. me? Um, I asked you, how did you see this playing out with ah, uh, Trump yeah. getting in? So if he gets in, he's going to approve those two things, right? Okay. And he, the other thing that I wanted to mention to you, and I don't know if you caught this in the media, mm -hmm. is that he said that he wants to um, privatize tribal land and extract resources. Trump. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, we are sovereign nations within a nation. Right. And treaties, according to the U.S. Constitution, are the supreme law of the land. And obviously, we've already proven that the U.S. cannot keep their word. Every single one of our treaties has been broken by the United States government. Mm -hmm. And if they were honoring our treaties, then we wouldn't have had this months-long um, encampment of water protectors fighting to protect our sacred sites. And even the Bismarck Tribune came, finally came out and said, oh, you know what? They're right. That is a that is a that is a grave site. Oops, our bad. Just is that impact study was not done, mm -hmm. so that still needs to be done. And that's something mm -hmm. that should have been done a couple of years ago, for the investors as well as for the pipeline itself. And no word on Obama. You know, I'm still. a little disappointed. Um, no, you could be a lot disappointed because I'm I'm definitely. I'm a sad. I'm saddened. Especially I, since he went there, like you said, in the last interview. He was at Standing Rock, yeah, two yeah. years ago, talking to the youth. I'll have your back. Don't worry. Well, where are you now, President Obama? When we need you, when we're crying out to you, all we're getting is we, we got the, the stoppage of the easement. The, the, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers saying, mm -hmm. okay, no easement. So Dakota Access Pipeline is still drilling. They're still Ooh. drilling today. Yeah, so they're drilling up to the very last little spot that they can get away with, mm -hmm. or maybe they're going further. We don't know. Well, right? I interviewed one of the vets, I think, last week that went down there, and um, he was just saying that, like, all the stuff that's not in the media, and he, he was actually sick um, from the weather out there, and yeah, he, he said himself that, yeah, they're still working out there, and... yeah. It's um it's very unfortunate and it is it, it's, it's it's amazing the optimism that the people there have despite the local I mean the lack of media and uh, I guess the government um, straying from like you said the law of the land and you know yeah. so to have that reserve and that commitment I don't I mean it has to be spiritual I think. It really is. Yeah. And that's what um, the Standing Rock people have said from the very beginning. Uh, Chairman Dave Arshambo has mm -hmm. said, you know, we want your prayers. Send your prayers. Mm -hmm. We need them. And every day there is is very ceremonial. I mentioned to you in our last discussion that my husband uh, was invited into sweat with Ivan Looking Horse, mm -hmm. uh, Orville Looking Horse's brother. Mm -hmm. And um, we prayed ourselves while we were there several times. And you just, there's such an overwhelming feeling of humanity. When you go to that camp, you realize that you aren't just an individual. You know, everybody's standing, pull themselves up by their own bootstraps, blah, 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 blah. Right. right? You are a part of something amazing. You are part of humanity. And being there, being a water protector, no matter where you're at, mm -hmm. you're helping to save the world. I'm not kidding. I'm not I'm not um, exaggerating. I'm not being, you know, uh, what do they what do I hear all the time on Facebook and Twitter? I'm not being or a liberal. Oh, you know, okay. Okay. I'm being a human being. Mm -hmm. We we can't drink oil. We you know we need to find other ways to get around besides using gasoline. It's a non renewable resource. We are in very we're the most intelligent countries in the world. Why? Because people come. From to America from all over the world to get an education. They love our um, our culture, our country, and they stay. Why aren't we looking for um, actively? Why aren't we putting our money into inventing better ways to get around without using gas, without using oil? Why aren't we asking each other, hey, stop using plastic in your house? Mm -hmm. So I've, I've, I've been working over the past several months to divest myself from plastic. Mm -hmm. 
and it's really hard to do. Mm -hmm. It is super hard. If you use if you use a bowl, your bowl is probably made of plastic. Mm -hmm. If you use um, takeout, mm -hmm. your your cups are minimalism made of is the way. Yeah, minimalism. <laughs> we have to. But where's that yeah. plastic come from? It comes right. from oil. Right. So we need to divest ourselves from those things mm -hmm. so that those companies will then move to other products. Mm -hmm. They'll move to products that are renewable. Mm -hmm. But we have to make a concerted effort as human beings to do that. Mm -hmm. Now, what about the young lady who was blind from the rubber bullet? Is there any oh update God. on that? Um, there's because a, they uh, were throwing, she was throwing snowballs. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah. Are those officers arrested? Are they being charged? Or? No, not, nobody on the opposing side has been charged yet. There uh, is a court case filed against Morton County Sheriff's Department mm -hmm. and their representatives that just came out this week on behalf of all the water protectors. And I'm sincerely hopeful that we will see some justice done because the uh, tactics employed by Morton County mm -hmm. are, as we, as we all know, um, reprehensible and violate several human rights abuses internationally. Mm -hmm. The United uh, Nations was there and issued a report and listed all the laws that were broken. Mm -hmm. Amnesty International was there and did the same thing and said, look, you guys need to stop. And so I read a letter that went out today to um, President Obama mm -hmm. from um, the administration of North Dakota, basically saying, how dare the federal government not back us up and you know, we were only protecting our people. Well, you know what? You weren't protecting your people. And the, if what, what, the, what else they're complaining about is social media. Mm -hmm. They're saying that social media is, it's the reason that uh, Morton County Sheriff Kirchmeyer is saying the reason they're losing is because of social media. But no, the reason they're losing is because they're violating human rights. They are violating he didn't care rights. about standing rock before this. I mean, what? No. No. And he has, it's documented that he has had hundreds of thousands of dollars towards his um, reelection campaign donated by oil, oil interests. So that's why he's so um, adamant about getting this pipeline through. That's where he gets his money. Now, where is this company located? You said it's Sun. It's located in Texas. Energy Transfer okay. Partners is located in Texas. Okay. Um, right. So if you can urge people to boycott Sunoco. F-U-N-O-C-O, -O, Seneca, um, and, you know, all of the banks, Wells Fargo especially, they're the major mm -hmm. um, investor. Mm -hmm. Wells Fargo came out and said that if Dapple continued to drill, they would divest themselves. But that hasn't happened. So here we are, you know, a week later, the Dakota Access Pipeline is still drilling, mm -hmm. um, according to eyewitnesses, but Wells Fargo has not divested themselves. So... We need to keep the pressure up. We have such an amazing network worldwide, and we need to ins continue to inspire one another, continue to push one another, mm -hmm. to make the phone calls, send the emails, send letters, um, do everything that we possibly can, repost the stuff that we're hearing from camp, um, from Dave Archambeau and the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe, from Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe, from all the tribes that are affected by this, not to mention the 17 million other Americans who would be adversely affected um, when this pipeline breaks. Now, what are people on the opposing side saying? Are they saying, what is the big deal? Because um, I look at it, they could be looking at it from two ways. One, sure. we understand that the treaty is being broken we understand that, but are people, are they saying, well, can they really, like the fracking issue? I don't know if you're familiar with that movie, yeah. Gasland. Yeah. And the guy on that movie on Netflix, he came out with the movie Frack Nation or something, and he was exposing how Gasland had a lot of inaccuracies about yeah. fracking. So is yeah. there people that are, you know, saying, you know, using this movie, I guess, kind of as a reference. Like, well, fracking is not as dangerous as we think it is, and it's just a big thing being blown out of proportion. Like, is that, do you hear that? I Most haven't people? heard that, although, okay. you know, I have, I don't know if you saw the clip that hit New York Times of mm -hmm. um, three three men from Standing Rock were in front of, it looked what, what it looked like from the video was a hotel, 
and they were blocked in by guys in camo and face masks, mm -hmm. and they were threatening them. They were threatening to rape their women uh, in their family, and they were threatening to beat them up. And a lot of people are saying, this is our civil rights movement of this century. You know, it's reminiscent of the past, um, of the Watts riots. You know, they've used dogs against the water protectors. Mm -hmm. They've used water. I know that those are triggers for a lot of people who've um, been fighting for most of their lives mm -hmm. for uh, civil rights. And it's, it's terrifying to see that, to hear the lies that come out of Morton County. And when they say, oh, we are just putting out fires, but you watch the videos, the live videos from drones and from people on the ground live streaming, you can see there are no fires around them anywhere. Right. And you see people in 25 degree temperatures um, being threatened with hypothermia and death. Right. And these are people who are sworn to serve and protect. And these are the people who are whining to our federal government for not being backed up. Well, I'm glad that our federal government hasn't backed them up. And I wish that they would back up the 17 million Americans adversely affected by this pipeline. And as I mentioned, we already had another oil leak that you and I were talking about a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. I hate to say leak because it's millions of gallons, right? It wasn't even a leak. It was huge. So could not mess up the water or that? Well, I think where it's at, it's not located close to a water source. And that's what they said. Okay. But um, they don't, I mean, that's what they, they that's kind of speculation. I mean, can exactly. they, do they really know that? Okay. So, yeah. and the, the thing that boggles me is that if this affects 17 million people, yeah, the feds are, I'm sure, a part of that 17 million. Somewhere, even, even if it's a small yeah. percentage, they're going to be affected by it. Yeah. So common sense, even these bankers, they, they could be affected by it. So it really, it's against their, they're working against their own interests. But it's exactly. like they don't even really, I mean, is the money that, it's money. does it blind you that much? You know, so. Some people it does. Some people, you know, I, I'm jokingly said money is not our God. But I really mm -hmm. think that for some people, that's all they can think of. Oh, well, this will give me some. What says in God we trust on the back of Right. I'm and how long has that been on there? <laughs> Too long. Yeah, yeah. If we trusted in God, mm -hmm. um, we wouldn't need money. Right. That's, hey, you, we're right. That's what I say all the time. Yeah, I agree. So how do you see this playing out next, next month? I know I asked you, but I want to recap before we leave. Sure. So I, I like I said, I see this, uh, if Donald Trump um, gets sworn in mm -hmm. January 20th, I see that there's going to, People are going to die. There people, are people are what? Will, people are going to die. I do in not reference think, to what? At Standard I think, Rock? I, yeah. I do not think that people, I think that there are people there at Standing Rock mm -hmm. who are willing to die to protect the water. Mm -hmm. And I think that Donald Trump has already shown himself to be a violent promoting individual. We've mm -hmm. seen that in rally after rally when, when he says, oh, in the old days, uh, that guy would have been carried out, yeah. right? We've, we've seen that, and it's horrified many people who have a heart and empathy and compassion for their fellow human beings. Mm -hmm. And I do not see empathy. I do not see compassion. I do not see uh, caring for all Americans in Donald Trump at all. I see Donald Trump caring for Donald Trump. Right. And you can see that in his, his choices for cabinet. It's like a just this long stream His of buddies and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And KKK <laughs> people and yeah. crazy people. These are yeah. not people you would even want to be in the same room with, let alone leading our country. You've got somebody um, leading education who is against um, our public education. She's all for um, our, our, you know, those little, I can't remember what they're called. Mm -hmm. um, charter schools. Mm -hmm. She's for charter schools. And, you know, we have somebody leading the Environmental Protection Agency who doesn't believe in climate change. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. dude, have you ever taken a vacation? You ever, you know, read the news? Talk to a scientist? You know. So you, you seem kind of pessimistic. You think we had a, a, a good victory. The veterans came. We had a short victory with the yeah. uh, disease made in different Well, I think, I think that, you know, having listened to, to Chairman Archambault, um, what he has said is that the, the work continues, 
um, it's going to continue through legal avenues. It's going to continue through whatever avenues they have available to them. And I am appreciative of that. And he did ask people to, to go home because winters in North Dakota, as you may well know, are really harsh. Mm -hmm. It's not something you just want to camp out in a little tent and go, hey, it's going to be great. I'll be fine. I got my pup tent. Mm -hmm. It's not safe. So those who are capable. Can they drill in the winter with all that snow, though? Doesn't the snow know, the play a role? Freezes. The ground freezes. You right. know, the lakes up there freeze so much people can drive on the lakes. Like you're talking nine to 12 feet of frozen water. Mm -hmm. So if the water's frozen, the ground is frozen too. So it's going to be really hard for them to drill through the winter. And I'm glad, you know, they have just driven right over. It's like if you drove a bulldozer through Arlington national cemetery, right? No one would do that. No one would right. allow that, but they've allowed it on our land and they know well, it. Yeah. Or if we did it on the, the Gettysburg, yeah. Cemetery or the yeah, like <laughs> Yeah. It wouldn't even it, last a day. I don't think it would last Oh geez, everybody go yeah. out there and climb the thing and rip the person out of the driver's yeah. seat and yeah. you know, haul them off to jail. And yeah. rightly so. Yeah. But why isn't that happening to the Dakota Access Pipeline workers? Why are they allowed to continue to drill even though they've been told you you don't have a right to drill here anymore? Stop. They've been told by three different agencies they need to stop. But they're not stopping. What does that say about their their adherence to the law? Has anyone went down to that company in Texas and protested? I'm sure. I'm sure they have. I'm sure yeah. they have. Yeah. There have been protests. We have so many allies all over the country and all over the world. Mm -hmm. It's so inspiring. Yeah. I have seen protests from, you know, I mentioned this to you last time, from people in Mongolia. I've seen protests mm -hmm. at the Hakka from um, people in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And you know, people all over the United States going into banks and expressing themselves or carrying signs and uh, most especially Wells Fargo. Mm -hmm. And people are tired of our best interests not being followed. I have no idea how we have a Republican House, a Republican Senator, Senate and a Republican president. I don't know how that happened, but I can tell you how it probably happened was people didn't vote. Right. People were turned off by the election. Instead of us all going door to door and going, "Hey, are you registered to vote? Do you need a ride to the, you know, to the voting station? Mm -hmm. What What do you need to do to make sure you your vote gets heard?" That's what happened. Half of Americans stayed home, and so now all of us are suffering because of that. Mm -hmm. All of us. Any last words? Or... Let Let's leave on a good note, because I... yes, <laughs> yes, I I realize this is kind of. <laughs> Doom and gloom. Yeah. But you know what? Look at what a difference we've already made worldwide. Mm -hmm. Look at the network, the allies, the humanity in so many people. Mm -hmm. um, I know of one young Oneida girl, high school kid. She's made 57 calls to the White House. Okay. 57 for a high school girl. Imagine if. Each yeah, everybody one of them has a cell phone. Put it to good use. That's right. Yeah, use your <laughs> phone in a good way. Yeah. Use it to change the world. Mm -hmm. You can change the world. I can change the world, and we can definitely change it together. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Okay. Well, we'll stay in touch, and I appreciate you taking your time out to have this conversation. No, always good so, to talk to you. Thank you. I'm glad, right. you, glad you called. Glad you followed up. Okay. Have a good one. Have a good night. You too. All Thanks. Right. Good night. Mm -hmm.